Hello guys and welcome back to another blind reaction. Today is going to be My Little Pony Season 8 Episode 21. A Rock Hoof and a Hard Place. Well, just judging by that title, obviously, Rock Hoof will be back. So, yeah. Gonna be, I guess, kinda nice seeing one of the pillars that is not Star Swirl. Um, I mean... I would prefer Somnambula. I think Somna Somnambula is the hottest of the pillars. And then the Flash Magnus, because I really liked Flash Magnus and Rainbow together. You know, they had such a good chemistry, I think. It was fun seeing. Um, like someone who kind of gets Rainbow. But anyways... Well, obviously, I think Rock Hoof is going to have a hard time with something. And then probably Applejack is going to help him out. What I do hope for is that, and it's something that we haven't gotten out of the pillars. One thing, when you first saw the pillars, kind of like, how have they, when they come back to where they used to live and all that... It must be like a complete culture shock or something. So I want to see that. I want to see the pillars just really don't know what to do. Like, what is different? What type of cultural norms are different? Something that they used to do that was like kind of like the thing to do. Now it's kind of like people are like, oh God, what the fuck? And then things that they used to be like, oh God, people or ponies do nowadays. So that's what I want to see. So let's just start. Nickelodeon. <laughs> you're going to have to work faster than that if you plan to dig up my whole village, lass. Let me help. <laughs> oh, she's a careful bitch. Uh, thank you, Rockhoof. But we're trying to carefully preserve every bit of history here. I... this place is full of memories. Did I tell you about the time our chieftain knocked down five boulders with the kick of a wave ball? <gasps> uh, no. But uh, that's what this is for. Maybe in the past. Now it belongs in a museum. Safe, preserved, untouched. Ah, next you'll be saying I shouldn't have used the old sweat lodge. <gasps> no, you shouldn't have. So, you see why Rockoof isn't an ideal fit for my team. Perhaps you could use his uh, unusual talents? Uh, she's Please, like, Priest Princess, I want to pedal him to off to you. Oh, thanks, Celestia. I like her. I fucking love her. I like how she was. Oh, that apple's made of wood. What a horrible trick to play. Oh, come on. Has any pony seen my decorative centerpieces? They were right here. Good luck. A dirty mare. My little pony, my little pony. All right, yeah, so it seems like we're gonna get kinda of what I want. A rock hoof just not being able to, a uh, fuck, get back into society. What is it called? Integrate back into society, you know, because it, it must be so different from when he was alive, basically. Join me in welcoming Professor Rockhoop to our faculty. Oh, you just made him a professor like that. Thank you, thank you all. I know I'm new to your world, but there's one thing I learned when I saved my village from a rushing river of hot lava. There's nothing you can't do with hard work. And a shovel! Wait, did he say there's nothing you can do? <laughs> there's nothing you can do with hard work. So, uh, 
Um, every creature dismissed. We'll see you in class. You think that new pony is gonna be the weirdest teacher at school? Or just mm -hmm. one of the weirdest? You're gonna like new teacher. Oh, Big. God. Like yak. Just shut yeah, the fuck up, yak. Things there like we go. A yak. Smells like a yak. Yes! He perfect! Guys, he's one of the pillars. He's like pony history. Hello, class! <laughs> well, um... <clears throat> I'm, uh, your new theory in the well, he couldn't fit, teacher. so that's the door's fault. But uh, I haven't had a chance to look at Headman Twilight's notes yet. What have you all been learning? We just studied all about how Princess Celestia and Luna used a spell to trap Discord in Stone Sleep for hundreds of moons. Oh, he's like, oh, I, I don't know anything about so that. It's a class about stories, is it? Stories, yeah. And we never, ever, ever get homework. Good. The best way to teach colts and fillies is by experience. Like the time I was in the woods and ran across an Ursa Major. Really? We're not doing that, right? You fight Ursa Major? <laughs> oh, no. Sandbar's kind of like, I yeah, I don't want to fucking die. I don't want that experience. How Professor Rock could win? Well, With my shovel, of course. From what Professor Fossil said, it sounds like Rockhoof just hasn't settled into modern times yet. Our school is the perfect place for that. Plus, we Oh, that's a teacher. cute Applejack face. <laughs> this may be the fastest friendship problem you ever solved. Is it a friendship problem? The students seem to like it. Lots of growl in mind. <laughs> Can we just remove the yak from frame? Then that would be good. In the old days. Oh, oh, what happened next? <laughs> the huge beastie jumped out of the moonlit mist. Her fearsome fangs at my throat. But I rolled clear. Then what? She backed me up against the wall, ready. <laughs> That looked so weird. How he leaned to get against the wall. That looked so weird. Nope, guess again. Oops. Sorry to interrupt. Class, why don't we go ahead and take lunch early today? Rockhoof, can we take a walk outside? Our school is about finding your own special way to teach. And we can already tell you're a mash with the class. Oh god, he's he's so angry. Smashing in the classroom. Sorry about that. I did get a bit carried away. The students were so interested in my tail. Yeah, I want to see some anger problems from him. PTSD. Yes. <laughs> Rock Hoof? What are you doing? Saving the school. Just like fighting a volcano in the good old days. Would some pony kindly explain what is the meaning of all this water? Oh. I'm not sure. Some wet That's rarity? Like That's nice. Kawabanga. Inferno. Inferno? Where? Did you not see the smoke and flame? Yeah, that was us. You know, dragons, having a fire breathing competition. You do it outside. They do it all the time. That's what we were trying to tell you. We know you're used to Trying? Did you didn't even say shit? You could have kept talking. Twilight. One who doesn't ruin an entire class's friendship quilts. I don't know how hard it is to stitch a pineapple pattern. Hmm. My deepest apologies. Look how big Not he is. Holy shit. But much else in this modern Did he grow life. again? Professor Fossil made it clear I'm not welcome back in my old village. Seems I don't belong here either. Kind of 
Come on, Twilight. You and Applejack needs to. Maybe not the new job, but. You have to understand that he obviously has some kind of PTSD when it comes to fire and all that. Do you know where I can find Cranky Doodle Donkey? I need to deliver his medicine. He has a rush in a very embarrassing place. Oh god. Cranky, what kind of STDs do you have? Oh, I did not need to hear that. Oh god. I wonder if he got it from Matilda. Now, just let me know if this is too much pressure. Well, Bulk, now you know well, how Spike felt. Really strong. Maybe we could find him a job carrying heavy stuff. I tried that already. Sakura needed somebody to help her get supplies, but yeah. I know you said you only needed a few leaves, but I figured why not bring you the whole thing. Poor Sakura. Like, come on, you could have just told him, like, tell him that you've just killed the tree, you killed the resource now. Get him used to living in this town. Great idea. Rockhoof's old friends would be happy to help, and I bet he'd love to visit them. <sighs> Even Canterlot looks different from the old days. Oh, I'm sure once you see your old pal Flash Magnus, you'll feel right at home. So he's in Canterlot. Oh, he's... That makes sense that he would be taking care of the Royal Guard. Rock up, you old ditch digger, you. Flush Magnus, as I live. I mean, Shining is in the Crystal Empire. After we got out of limbo, I went looking for work for a pony with experience in the Royal Legion. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Princess Celestia was happy to find a new drill sergeant for her guard. Yeah, yeah. that's great. She really put you in a job that big so soon. Oh, this is nothing. You should see what Miss Mane is up to. Well, let's see what she is up to. They made you the royal landscape artist for the Crystal Empire? Wow. Your work is beautiful. No, it's okay. You. I've never worked with Crystal before, but in my heart, I know I'm where I belong. You always could find the beauty in things, but there's not much demand for shovel ponies like me nowadays. Don't give up hope. Oh, poor Raku. I like this episode. This is a pretty good episode. Somnambula is a motivational speaker. Bet they didn't motivational back speaker. In your time. Come on. Because we didn't need them. Ponies knew what to do with their lives. Focus on my voice. <laughs> like back in the day, ponies used to know what the fuck to do. <sighs> I mean, I don't like the posing. That is far too, you know. Human like I don't like it, but you as one big cloud. Now let it float away. You are relaxed, free to do anything you wish. I guess he wished he could take a nap. Mage Meadowbrook. Your home looks just the same. And yeah, and she's a pharmacist. Well, I've had to expand my clinic a bit. Many creatures need healing in this modern world. Oh. Uh, she like had to say many so creatures. Too. What's got you heartsick, Rockhoof? Thing is, I can't do my old job like Flash, or adapt like Miss Mane, or succeed at something new like Somnabula. Or go home, like you. Give it time. Even Star Swirl's still learning about friendship. Yeah. And I bet Stygian took plenty of time to fit in. Hey, look what I found. Me and My Shadow, the third hit novel by former villain Stygian. I'm impressed. All right, so he's a novelist now. Mm. Rockhoof, where are you going? I'm not sure. Oh, and those Maybe are the Kajun ponies. 
They're in the background. Fuck, when did we last see them? Was that so was it season two? Or maybe four. Oh I don't remember. I'll tell you the real problem here. We haven't given Rock Hoof the chance to be who he really is. A pony with a metal shovel and a heart of gold? A hero! What we need to do is find him a job that's as epic as he is. A bounty hunter or something like that. Or a monster hunter. I'm honored to serve in the Hippogriff Navy, General Seaspray. I promise I'll prove my worth. Mm, think Navy. I know how hard it is to adapt to a new home. After our many years below the waves, oh, he has some scars. Like Did he have that in the first the episode, or are those new scars? The world had moved on without us. Never fear, Rockoff. We shall be as brothers in this bright future above the waves. Uh, why do the hippogriffs need ships if they can turn into sea ponies? Maybe they just like cruises? General, the fog's too thick to see our way out of the harbor. Heave to Swabbies, hold the ship and hold her. Maybe it's too tiring to swim all the time. Navigate the same way my cultic ancestors traveled through the sulky mists. We'll look to the stars there in the northwest sky. Oh, yeah, because in that, oh, uh, fuck, Steer the ship uncommon that. bond. You they did say that these his thing. tribe, you know, or his village or whatever, they actually mapped out the sea yeah. coast of Equestria. A <laughs> good job. Stars can move slowly over time. They must look different now than over a thousand years ago. It was an honor serving with you, Rockoff. But it seems our paths lie in different directions. Hey, mistakes happen. We'll think of something else for you to do. Oh, there's no need, lass. Already uh, I really hope this next. ends up with him. Really? Heard there's a statue spell that sends creatures into stone sleep. I want you to cast it on me. <gasps> oh God! No. He wants to become stone. No. I... <sighs> no. That's kind of him. Like, just hey, kill me. I don't want to live anymore. All right. Rockoff wants me to cast a spell to turn him into a statue. The answer is no. Well, it should be I. Because I wouldn't even be here to be turned into a statue if Twilight hadn't cast a spell in the first place. Whoa, I thought you were arguing over ice cream flavors. The answer is still no. Why would you want to be turned into stone? Because I'm a relic of a bygone age. I belong in a museum. Safe, preserved, untouched. I don't belong in this time. It's up to you to make that right. But there has to be a better way. Twilight, please understand. Oh, I really I hope. Remembered as the hero I was, not the disappointment I've become. But you're not. Rock of weight. Spike, can you teach my class today? Hey, you're not really gonna turn him to stone, are you? Only because it's temporary. As soon as I think of a new solution, we'll wake Rock Hoof up. I know he has more to offer the world as a pony than a statue. Oh gosh, so she's actually going Did to do it. Rock caught all the bees in the Everfree Forest and gave him his core as a gift? Wow! Terramar said Rock Hoof called down the stars and sunk the whole Hippogriff Navy! He's definitely weird, but in a fun way. He never know what's going Oh, is he going to become a storyteller? Best pony. Hey, class. Alright, Rock Hoof Best Pony, if you say so, Yak. Another sub? Let me start by telling you that we don't get homework. I mean, Roku is a pretty good pony. I'll give her that. Yeah, nice try. Uh, Twilight sent me to tell you she won't that was good of Spike. Cast a stone He's like, I, I'm on to your bullshit. <gasps> like Discord? But why? Roku isn't a bad guy. Hmm. He's like, I, I don't know. The instructions are to write an essay on heroism and what it means to you. No. Oh, uh, don't worry. It doesn't have to be a long essay. <laughs> Spike is like, like this? Oh, I don't want to fucking do this. Hmm. 
I actually like it. That was a very good spike scene. Decorate. Professor Rockoff, Dragon said you want to turn into stone. You do not believe it. I, I'm afraid it's true, boss. But Pony need finish Earth's major story for class. Oh, it's sweet of you to try to get me to stay, Yona. But I'm afraid old stories like mine aren't worth anything in this day and age. Fine. If Pony no want tell Yona's story, then Yona tell Pony's story. From class report, when Yona come to Pony school, Yona not fit in. Pony way strange, but Yona find friends. Yona meet Professor. I, I can't handle Pony how she speaks her Pony. voice. Yeah, not afraid, hero. When Yona grow up, Yona want to be just like Professor Rocker. Well, uh, since you went to the trouble of writing something that nice, I suppose the least I could do is tell you the rest of the story. Yona tell whole school rock of his best! Now I wanna hear story! Oh, come on. Okay, I have the spell, but will you please reconsider? Rockoff? The Ursa Major tried to grab me by the gullet by Dr. Claus. Alright, yeah, he's gonna become a storyteller. She had me cornered, so I look at her, she looks at me. <gasps> and I say, sorry you won't be having any dinner tonight, lass. Guess you'll just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> and then I tossed her away with my shovel high into the sky. And she's been a constellation up there ever since. Or so I'm told. And that's <laughs> the end of my Yeah, story. I'm told that. It's probably story. bullshit, but... One more story! No, no, thank you for listening, but it's time to say goodbye. Wait, you said there wasn't anything in this time you were good at. What about telling stories? It was just a tall tale. One that captured the hearts and imagination of every creature here. Plus, Pony Story super fun! <laughs> as the Princess of Friendship, I'd like to appoint you as Equestria's official Keeper of Tales. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Can you do that, Twilight? Are you sure you're not abusing, trying to abuse your power yet again? record of our history your stories can inspire and teach generations to come if you're a statue that's all lost but will i ever really belong in your world rock of yona's friend so rock well of rock of it, it is you your world as well it reminds me of another story once there was a small yak that knew more than a great hero hey don't forget the dragons in this one. Aye, there were dragons and ponies and plenty of hippogriffs, plus a changeling and a man. Scott and Morgus. All right, so this is a from it's a they use the Swedish and uh, what's it called the Swedish visuals, but they redubbed it from the Australian version, which is probably why it's 1080. The Australian is like 420, 480. I don't know why. Why is the Australian version 480 while the Swedish is 1080? Good job, Sweden, when it comes to quality. Um, too bad we have the Swedish version. I don't like it. Uh, I've tried to watch it, but oh well. Yeah, that was a pretty good episode. I kind of liked it. I mean, the yak wasn't as annoying in this episode that she normally is. So, maybe slowly she could be... Ah, uh, fuck, she wouldn't be bearable. I still think she was a bit too much of her speaking. It should have been that she should have shown him her story and then he should have read it. Instead of her reading it. That would have made it better. But, I mean, other than her voice and how she speaks and everything about her it was a good episode i really liked it i actually really liked twilight in this one as well that when she figured out that that's what rock wanted 
I mean, obviously they went back and forth a lot. She, her being no, he being yes, her being no, him being yes. In the end, she was kind of like, that's what he wants, all right? He wants to be turned into stone, even though it's not something I want. It's kind of like, for me, Rock wanted to commit suicide, basically. And Twilight was kind of like the nurse. You know, for example, if Rock who f- is lying there, kind of like, first of all, I think suicide. Sh- all right. That's going to be another video. I've done videos about how I feel about, I think it's stupid in Sweden that assisted suicide is not legal, but. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what he wanted. And it wasn't really suicide, it was just putting him to stone. They they have shown that they can reverse that. Yeah, so it was pretty sad that he felt that way. And... Yeah, I am happy with the outcome of him not becoming stone and him becoming a storyteller. I don't like how... Twilight had to be like, I appoint you to... The Keeper of Tales or whatever. Bullshit. It's good that Spike called her out. Kind of like, can you really do that, Twilight? You fucking abu- <laughs> abusive bitch. And Twilight's kind of like, of course not, you motherfucker. But, I mean, maybe that would make him feel better. I don't know. I think it should. Twilight should have just been... Um... You can be a storyteller. Your stories have things to teach and they're entertaining, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Now, tomorrow is going to be... Uh, Sounds of Silence. No, wait, no. I know it's like What Lies Beneath or Sounds of Silence tomorrow. I don't know which one it is. All right. So yeah, there we go. I've got. Why am I 